What's good? I'm Dave and this is your Auto Real Estate Market Update for April 2023. Last month, 1,194 homes were transacted on the multiple listing service. That's down 40% compared to the same month last year. Now last year we were just coming off the absolute peak of the market. So that's, that's part of the story, but I also think what's happening now, people are a little bit slow to enter into the market right now. There's been a little bit of disruption with interest rates and pricing, and people are kind of taking a wait and see approach. Now, what is happening with pricing? The average resale price of a freehold, it costs you just over $710,000, and that is down 17%. And condos on average will cost you just under 419,000, that's down 13%. So both freehold and condo, big price drops in both of those segments. Uh, and now that didn't happen all at once though, right? We had the peak of the market in let's say February, March of last year. Prices kind of got carried away. Bank of Canada stepped in as, to respond to increase in inflation. They start doing interest rate increases up and up and up. And every time we saw an increase, you know, uh, mortgages become a little less affordable. Buyer affordability goes down, prices go down, almost uh, in, in direct correlation to the interest rate increases. So, so much so, prices have fallen to 17%, 13%. But again, it didn't happen all at once. It wasn't like a big bubble that burst all at once, but it was a slow, steady deflation of the bubble, if you understand. The, uh, when we think most of the air, if not all of the air, is out of that bubble now, and we're starting to settle into a new normal. And there's a lot of indicators here that show that perhaps things are stabilizing. And in fact, if some are early indicators showing we have some strength still in this market, and prices may go up a little bit. So, what am I talking about? If we look at number of uh, months of inventory available. This is the level of supply available in the market. We're s sitting uh, between two and three percent for both freehold and condo. That's okay. It's not a super awesome level of inventory, but it's fairly healthy and I would descri describe as a balanced market. If we look at the average days on market, so this is the length of time it takes for a home to, s to result in a successful sale. I'm going to put a graph up here to show you what I'm talking about. Since last year, it was taking longer and longer for, for a home to sell. Then in recent months, we actually started to see that turn the corner again and then things are starting to pick up again. Things are starting to sell a little bit faster again. So there's some indicators here that inventory is better, but it's not still super awesome. And average days of the market is starting to pick up again. I know our team, we're still seeing, we've seen some multiple offers sometimes. We see even some competitive offers with you know, uh, over asking pricing and sometimes omitting um, conditions to, to strengthen their offer. So some of those tactics that we saw at the height of the market, we sometimes see them here and there. And it just shows that there's some robustness to our Ottawa market. Now, I think some of the, what's happening here as well, the de decrease in demand, decrease in pricing, that's all the demand side, right? Like the increase in interest rates have only softened the buyer demand but nothing has been done to increase the supply side of this equation and when you have these two opposing forces buyer demand and uh, seller supply we haven't changed our supply problem and if we look down the road into the future it actually might get worse right with the level of level of immigration we had record levels of immigration into Canada I think around 400,000 uh, people in the last year and that number is expected to climb to about 500,000 by 2025 so lots of new people moving into city centers people need places to live and we're not able to construct homes fast enough to meet that demand and so I believe that pricing will inevitably go back up again they must you know the the old uh, quote buy land they're not building it anymore right and that holds true today uh, land is a precious commodity right there's a limited amount of it and buying uh, building houses it takes time takes money and there's all this buyer demand so where will prices go in the short term i think we're going to kind of settle out there's still a little bit of uncertainty we think we've turned the corner we think we're going back to that slow and steady increase down the long run it's almost assuredly prices must go up for by basic laws of you know limited supply and uh, i'd also point out like 
people, everyone needs a good, healthy, safe place to live, right? Whether you're renting or buying, you need a place to live. Why not own a home that you can start building equity? Even better, why not own a second, a third home, investment properties, have someone else pay down that mortgage and you build wealth that way. So wherever you are in your real estate story, we'd love to meet with you. We'd like to show you how, how do you buy that first home there's a lot of new tools. Uh, the tax-free home savings account is a new one we'd love to teach you about. There's some of these new tools that are available to you. Let's get you into your first home. Or maybe you're looking to upsize. Or maybe you're looking to leverage the one you have and buy another investment property. Wherever you are, we'd love to have uh, a little sit down with you and have a discussion how to make your real estate dreams come true. Thanks so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe. All that stuff is good and fun on YouTube. But thank you again, and as always, I'm Dave Robertson, your real estate professional for life.